Um, so one of the things that we typically see with a lot of our entrepreneurial clients, they've grown up a business quickly, it's doing well, um, and things just sort of hit them and they kind of react to them. To Lee's point, we need to be proactive about how we look at things and also understand when the right time to do some of these things. Is it right to build a sales team now? Should I give up equity? Do I need more money to grow, take on an investor? Um, I, I like to talk in stories and some of the things that I've done in the last year with clients. Um, I picked up one client that we started working with this year. It's an unusual business. They wanted to do all of the things on the list here. So uh, trying to figure out how we fit all those together. The first <laughs> thing we did is said, hey, let's back up. Let's, let's build a plan. Um, and got them to work on the business instead of in the business, because that's the natural tendency of all of our entrepreneurs. And so the first thing we did was we did a cash flow forecast for 24 months, and then we shock tested it against an acquisition. So if we made an acquisition, we created one, we said, what if, and we shock tested that cash flow against that acquisition. So we're trying to anticipate through that kind of planning what might happen if. Um, is the merger right for that company? Again, lots of analysis to try and help them understand um, where they're at. We also took a pretty good look at their financial statements and say, what levers can you pull to improve your position? What levers uh, within, is it, is it better sales, better cost of goods sold, uh, better marketplace to get your product or sell your product? So really trying to really think with that customer, that client, what can we do to improve their situation?